Mars is absolutely fascinating for humanity to be able to explore another planet that did have the possibility for life and who knows maybe in the future will again have the possibility for life. That will be remarkable. We've been putting uh, landers on Mars since 1976 but now we're talking about people. What this show does is it gathers together a lot of um, real work that's being done by architects, by designers, by engineers um, to put people on Mars. The most challenging aspect of humans going to Mars is really the environment. It's a really harsh environment. It's extremely cold. There's obviously uh, no atmosphere, no oxygen to breathe, so you would have to take your oxygen supplies. And there's also extreme radiation. You can't breathe the air. You can't touch anything without gloves. It's freezing. I mean, it's just totally inhospitable conditions. Oh, and a storm on Mars? That lasts for months and is globally. If you're going to send people to a distant planet, you want them to survive, you want them to thrive, you want them to have tolerable conditions. All of those things require design. You need to design what they're going to wear, what they're going to eat, their living conditions, what kind of habitats they'll have. It's a total design project. Every kilogram that you take to Mars will be very expensive. So what we need to do when we go to Mars, build as much with the local materials. For me, one of the most important things was to design something that has to be completely sustainable. There's not much choice. We have basically Martian dust, which is regolith. We're going to use that to create a shell structure. And that shell structure is kind of like our own cave that will be there to protect us from very harmful gamma radiation. In a way, you're using extremely local materials. In a, in a funny way, it's very sustainable. Would I go to Mars? By the time we go to Mars, I'll be probably too old. I've got two uh, young sons and I think a three-year mission away for uh, any father is a long period of time. I've got young kids, so they're probably that, that Mars generation. They're under 15, so they might be able to go. Once they're at university and, and off doing their own thing, then who knows? Maybe mission four or five, I would think about it. <laughs>